Hello, this is Jim, W4JBM, and I want to talk about something a little different than what I tend to talk about uh, today. I'm talking about a, uh, a microcomputer uh, kit that's available. Um, this kit's based on an 8-bit microprocessor, um, the 1802, that was introduced by RCA back in 1976. Um, it's actually, uh, it's been around for a long time, still made today. It's available in a... Uh, uh, a hardened version where they use silicon on sapphire uh, making it more uh, able to tolerate things like electrostatic discharge and uh, some of the, the stuff that's encountered in uh, in outer space and, and other types of uh, difficult applications uh, like some of the QRP projects that a lot of radio people do um, it's actually built into an Altoids 10 um, so this is uh, it's just kind of an interesting there's three this uh, just showing basically what comes with the kit there's uh, three boards you don't need all three um, there's a board for the the processor and the memory and then there's a board uh, that has the the switches um, and some of the input and output uh, it does have a serial connection and then it's also got a front panel and uh, there is a, uh, the third one is basically just a, a prettier front panel to put over it that's got things labeled. A lot of this goes back to uh, the Cosmic Elf, uh, which was talked about in Popular Electronics. This is the August 1976 edition. I've got the, uh, the original magazine. I've also uh, got a copy of the, the reprints uh, floating around someplace uh, on this. So uh, this is a project uh, that's, it, it's got some some history uh, 76 would be 40 years ago so four decades ago um, when this thing was uh, kind of the at least the uh, version one if you will of uh, of this uh, came about um, so kind of interesting this the, the kit itself is available from a gentleman named Lee Hart and it's called the membership card um, it was introduced back in 2009 and uh, this is uh, there, there's different been different revisions uh, but this is revision I and I believe there's a mix uh, some of the this is a revision I board here um, and then there's a also revision H2 for the uh, the board with the microprocessor and there's been some changes made to the there's the serial interface uh, and also the the toggling switches for uh, for the input on the front panel uh, so this is everything you need to build uh, build the the, uh, the device itself. Uh, some standard logic chips. It's got the 1802 microprocessor, and then it's got uh, 32 megabits of uh, excuse me, 32 kilobits of uh, random access memory. Uh, and then it it does go into the Altoids 10, and inside the Altoids 10 are things like the uh, the switches for the um, uh, the front panel and some of the the hardware and other miscellaneous components that uh, that you need to to finish it out. Um, so. That in itself is kind of interesting. Um, there's also a, uh, a modification that had taken place. Uh, so originally the 32K memory chip went in here and um, apparently there were a couple people that tried uh, piggybacking a, another 32K uh, PROM or EEPROM on top of that chip um, so that they could have some stuff already programmed in. And they could do that by basically getting rid of the uh, 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 the socket itself and, and mounting the chip, um, the bottom chip directly to the, the board and then that left room to piggyback another chip on top of it. Um, but a guy named Herb Johnson actually offers a kit and uh, Lee has modified the, the board so it's able to take, uh, instead of the normal uh, full-size memory chip, uh, what Herb offers is a, uh, a kit that's got a couple things in it. Um, and this is this is what Herb Herb's kit has. But basically, the important thing here, uh, this is a 32k memory chip, and you'll notice that it's narrow instead of the the larger footprint that you normally have with the higher pin count um, chip. So, it, this is the the RAM. And uh, when I finish building it, this is going to be the, the bottom 32k of memory. And then there's actually a uh, an EEPROM that sets over the top of that. And so this will be down inside the socket, kind of hidden away, and this will go over it. And uh, this particular EEPROM has um, a monitor that's called the Idiot Monitor. Um, but basically gives you some, some quick and dirty ways to, to test the serial port and uh, also an easier way to, to uh, enter programs and stuff like that. Um, there's a zero height socket um, 
that's used for putting in the memory card uh, and then a capacitor for bypassing the noise. Um, also, this comes with a uh, everything you need, which isn't much, to uh, to make the serial interface um, work. So this will uh, plug in on the the front panel. There's there's an opening here, and then a 25-pin uh, socket sets here, and it'll let you plug in an RS-232 terminal. You can also use the same port uh, to actually connect to a parallel port on a computer, um, and that will let you download instead of needing some kind of bootstrap that you have to manually enter. Um, one of the cool things about the 1802 was that it lets you do all this stuff with entering uh, stuff directly into memory without having to have any kind of program running so uh, uh, there's a way to basically emulate any of the the switches um, with input signals on uh, the parallel port if you have it connected to a, uh, a computer um, with the right software and, and using the parallel port uh, so anyway this is uh, it's a project I'm, I'm kind of looking forward to uh, the membership card does come and I'll put links to uh, uh, to the kits uh, both the membership card and then also uh, the expansion uh, option here with the, the dual memory chips. Um, but the uh, membership card itself comes with uh, the printed documentation to, to build it. Um, the, the documentation for the modification with the, the smaller uh, memory, smaller footprint memory, and uh, the PROM is on the, uh, the internet and seems fairly straightforward. Um, there's nothing, there's no surface mount chips or anything like that, so uh, it looks like a very buildable project. Um, you can check back on the next video in the series on this thing and, uh, and see if I still feel that way if uh, once I, uh, I've spent a couple hours on it. Uh, but it is a run, rainy uh, Saturday afternoon, and uh, so I'm looking forward to getting started on this project. Uh, hope you uh, enjoyed the video, and as always, uh, likes and shares are, and subscribes are uh, appreciated, and I hope you have a great day. Thanks a lot.